Welcome back to another special edition of Minecraft World of Teams. And again, I am Survival Man. And in today's episode, we're currently, we just started currently building Team Green that we're going to put underneath water. But everything around you is going to be green. So that is based off the team color. So that's what we're currently working on right now. So in case you're wondering why that is. You can find out how to do it. But you need. Two main. Or I should say not main. I should say major key items. You're definitely going to eat. You're going to definitely need is uh major number one you need a broom stand for this because you're definitely going to need it for sure for sure you're going to give definitely going to need it two potions is another is basically part of number one so number two would have been The other, the, the two key items you're going to need is bottles and fill them with water and you're only going to need two potions for this. You're definitely going to need them for this particular episode. Okay, so make sure you have a brewing stand already made. If not, then I don't know what to say to this then. Honestly, I don't. So, major number one, in case you can't read it, it is Potion of Night Vision. And you need the eight minutes. So, you're going to need that. And then also, the, the, the problem is with this is that if you don't have the other potion for you, then you've got thing a problem because if you don't have this ready, you're gonna have a hard time surviving underneath water. So you need water breathing potion. And you're gonna be fishing quite a lot just to get one ingredient. And I'll let you guys figure that one on yourselves there. So I'm not gonna spoil what item you need for that. But one of these times, I will, I, I'm currently, as of right now, building a upside-down pyramid island, which I am calling it Island Trials. And they, there's basically certain trials that I'm currently, as of right now, thinking on what to build. But I've got four so far. And I ha need only three more. And then I'm thinking on doing a Pokemon theme to it so that uh, the four rooms will be at, like, the actual league itself will be underneath the pyramid. And once you see that island, uh, let me just say it's quite big from, from ground up. Let me just say it's floating in the air in some way. But I'm not going to say what how it's floating. Okay. But if you need to know how to build it, I will do it three separate episodes of how to build that. Because it's going to take quite some time just to build it. So I would say just wait until I actually know when I'm going to do that. So again, you need night vision and water breathing potions. It's the two key major potion items you're going to need. Potion bottles, I should say. Um, you're definitely going to need a brewing, brewing stand so that you have a way to brew these. Um... But if you don't know how to build one, I will show you how to build one 
on a different world that I'm currently using for achievements. So keep in mind. But in order to get to that point, I would have to build something first. So hold on one second. All right, I just had to see what, who that was. Um, so again, you need a block. Like I said in the other episode, you need a block that's of any, a green of any block that's green. Um, but if you're doing this in survival, you, like I said, the easiest block you can get, which is the green wool. And I'll show you that at some point, but right now, I'm focusing on how to build this structure. So these are the main items I'm going to currently need. But for now, this is what's going to look like for now. So first thing you need to do, you got to make sure you have a lot of these potions ready. So I would say make two brewing stands one only special specified only for um, night vision and then the other will be water breathing potion so you're gonna I'm gonna show you how to do that but not in this episode okay because since I'm doing this in creative I will currently show you what why you need these because one once you're in the water, look, it's dark. So then you need the night vision potion active and the water breathing potion active and boom. Everything you can see is there underwater. So night vision and water breathing potion will assist you of walking or swimming or flying in water if you're doing this in creative or if you have the host options or host privileges enabled you can still do this both ways but if you're doing this in survival and have flying enabled trust me it ain't gonna work you gotta be in creative if you want to make this quick and get this done so you make you want to make sure you line this up. Because one, why do I say you gotta line it up? Because one, you want to make sure you do this right. Otherwise, it might not it might not lead to somewhere where you don't want to lead. So remember what I was telling you guys about um, window ideas. I do have one in mind of how I'm actually currently looking at and what it's going to look like. So if you want to have a home that's literally underneath, there's a window idea that I will currently have for you and ready to go. But like I said, underwater, doing this underwater can take time and yes indeed it can so you're gonna you you pretty much are gonna go down as as low as you want I'm not saying you have to follow my lead you can put it down as low as you want or how deep you want it but you want to make sure you're doing it just right Otherwise, and oh, if you're doing this in survival and you have the potions effects already in effect, you want to keep an eye on those, on the time on those, because 
What if you're doing this and then your bubbles start to go start to uh, um, deplete? Well, I can give you two ways of doing this. Quickly swim up as best as you can. Otherwise, it might not look good. I might have to say it might not look good. So, so I'm gonna leave it just like that for now. Why? Because you're going to see what that is for once everything's in place. So I'm going to go down. Let's see. See how far this corner goes down. See how far that can go down. Right about there. So that I can go one more. And then, in this matter, I'm going to get rid of these right here. And then I'm just going to put a stone right here. An actual base here. And there, nope, not, well, yeah, definitely there, because that's where you're going to put it. And you're going to go up with this. But sometimes the... Sometimes when you're doing this, sometimes it can lead to, for it not to, like what it just did there, like losing its, uh, like right there. Like if you go too high, it, uh, or too fast going up, it uh, can lead to not letting you keep placing blocks, so... Keep that in mind. If you want to keep going, you want to make sure you're doing it just right. So, like what I did over there, you want to make sure you leave a 2x2 two two space in between. You're going to see why I put it like that. And so then I'm going to go place it here, but I'm going to leave the water in there because one, you're going to find out why I'm leaving it in there, in, it, in there for now, because there's one reason why I'm doing it like that. Then I'm going to place, if you choose, if you choose to, not saying you have to. If you chose to do this. So you're pretty much going to place all this right here. But I would say put this up six blocks. Because the floor on the inside is going to be green of your choice. But like I said, if you're doing this in survival, make sure you have potions. And you got to make sure you have plenty of them. Because you're going to need quite a few times of making them. So you want to make sure you have enough ingredients for all of them. Um, but you need a lot of redstone. At least maybe like one stack of 64 redstone dust. And you can currently find those uh, currently underground, in case you guys didn't know that. Or if you are still familiar with mining and knowing how to find certain items, well, guess what? I don't have to tell you twice. <laughs> so, uh, finding redstone shouldn't be that hard. But when you need to find diamonds, let me just say you have to go deep, like literally deep into the ground in order to find it. Because you're not going to find diamonds that easy. Let me just say, finding diamonds, ah. Uh, Shouldn't be that of a hassle. So, 
So now, since this is actually underground, I'm currently going to give it some light. And if you already have glowstone dust already, you can make glowstone only four pieces of it. So I'm going to grab that and now see that my night vision is going out. So I'm going to um, boost that again and the water breathing potion yet again. So you're going to light up your area here. But, like I said, if you're doing this in water, you want to make sure you're doing this just right. Otherwise... And like I said, swimming around can lead to problems. Like, see what I mean? Leading to problems. But, you know, it's just how, that's how the game works. You want to make sure you're doing it just right. And placing this carefully can lead to easy easy stuff so like I said I'm I'm like the buttons I'm pressing right now are probably different control buttons to what you're familiar with so like if you are swimming around in the water I would say hit the button you're familiar with that includes like the the actual controls that you're currently working on or learning how to use like me I'm holding or using the left trigger and the right trigger to place things so I'm currently using the left trigger to swim around like I'm doing right now and uh, using the right trigger which is the right hand to place blocks now if I wanted to mine a block would be the A button. So I'm going to go down just a little bit here. Right here and here. So up in here, this shouldn't be that hard at all. Now, the best way to get rid of water in a base like this, you're going to see what you have to do. Okay? Now, before you start... getting like before you get rid of the water really um, I'm gonna make a good time on this really so then you're gonna place um, a green blocks right here Then I'm gonna swim up here just a little bit and place like I said I'm swimming around just doing this just I'm not pressing the jump button which is my left trigger. Not too much because I'll start flying again, which I'm not going to do. So then, the main objective is getting to the hole that you just made, if you make it that way. And then you're going to place a way of getting down So you're going to do it like that, and you're going to do one more layer of that, and then what you're going to do, if you have the host a uh, host options enabled, this is going to be a quite easy for you. So just remember, if you want to do this real easy, flying is the best, but that's only if you have the host, host options, or the host uh, privileges enabled. So you're going to do it like that so that it's going to be a block. So it's going to be like this. Going down. But make sure you're not placing it where you don't want it to be. And then you're going to go about, let's see, to the to the level that you have it at. Or the space you need it. Because I did it a little bit further away. So see I'm having a hard time there. So I'm going to go down. See it's taking me a little bit time. But 
It's really worth it if you do it like this, though. So then what I'm going to do, since, since it's not meeting up right, so I'm going to move the space there. And then what I'm going to do is actually line it up there. And just do it like that. Put it like that. And then go down to the main ground here. And then you're going to place a way of getting up there. But if you need to remove blocks on the way, that's okay. Because you probably would need to at some point. See? Because right now, I have to. So I'm going to get rid of these blocks here. And I'm going to go right about here. Get rid of these here. So I'm going to go right about there. See, there's a, a different block there, so I'm going to... I might have to do this three parts, try to finish it off. Might have to do it in three parts because one, it uh, is taking me quite a bit. So I'm going to fly, just to make things quicker. Even though I was swimming quite a long time, but flying makes it a lot quicker for me, getting things done a lot quicker for me currently. So then I'm going to go here, place these here, and then like I said, you got to line it up. It's always good to line things up because one, you don't know what to expect. Really, you really don't. So then, now since I have, since you have this already made, once you're done completing this, you want to make sure the water in this area is currently out of your reach so that you have a way to place uh, your... Uh, Um, I was, uh, just give me a minute here. Uh, to place your ladder, actually, because the main thing is, is that once you actually see water here, you're going to have a long time to get back up. That's why? You're going to die that way. So, you want to have a block that's a lot easier to use. So if you have a lot of this, you can just go ahead and go flip, 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 flip. Until it's covered. And then you're just going to go ahead and mine it, pretty much, until you get down, down here. And then, see, everything is dark again, so I'm going to, again, going to get rid of the water here. We're just going to take quite some time. So I'm going to do the, I'm like I said, I'm going to do this in three parts. Because I know it's going to take, whoa, why am I moving? I don't want to move down there because that is going to be, hey, hey, hey. I'm gonna place this. Hey! Why? Why? What, what? Really? Pushing me? Really? <sighs> that was just quite the hurdle. I don't like it. Alright, so now since I'm in here now, now actually am official. Well, almost. I still have water down here too, so I wanna make sure I'm mining only. The blocks I really need to mine. See, there's water right here too, again. So then I'm going to get rid of the water in here. But in order to do that, 
you're going to get a solid block and then you're going to just go ahead and place it at the top layer of water. Why are you asking? Two reasons. Removes the water at the top. Second, helps you get things done faster. because it actually saves you time by doing this. And it's going to auto save even though I'm in water, so don't mind it, because it drives me nuts. Now, since, since I did that, I'm going to get rid of the blocks that I just personally placed. placed. Now, you're going to come up here slightly and get rid of the blocks and then what you're going to do is repeat the process so you're going to do this about until the water's gone so you're going to do this quite a bit So, you're going to do this again. Or, if you like, it's up to you. Using sand, because sometimes sand will help. Because you don't need a whole, well, you need a lot, actually, currently, just to get rid of the sand. You really currently need a lot of sand just to get rid of this. So I'm going to try to get this done quick enough because I don't want to be taking too much of the time here. So then I'm just going to go ahead and uh, And then once you get rid of a certain place here, you're going to, like I said, I'm doing this a lot quicker with just sand alone. Now, since you got that, now you're going to leave the I think it's that one, yep. Yeah. So you're going to leave And see how far you're going to place these things, so... Let's see how far this water can go. And then you're going to actually go in here, get rid of the water if you can, where that is. Sometimes if you get rid of water, sometimes it likes to push you. It really does. Or pull you right into it. Now, all you have to do now...
is get rid of the sand as much as you can, that is, without destroying your home here, or your base, so-called what it's going to be. See what I mean? I want to make sure you don't get rid of any of the walls here. And then before you uh, remove any wall here, you're going to actually go out of this yet again and do the same process. Going to do the same process here. And what I'm going to do is going to be the smart way. Because if I don't do this correctly, so I mean, you got to be quick. Otherwise, <laughs> the water will <laughs> come in quick. Then you're going to get rid of this here. As you go into this little hallway here and my potion effect is still had, had 10 seconds left so now I'm currently have more time so like I said you're gonna need a lot of them because you need a lot of night vision potions because one you're gonna need a lot of it and then yet again you're gonna need ladders because what if you're doing this in survival and you're stuck? Guess what? You can still get out only if you have host privileges currently on and and if you don't, you're screwed. That's all I can say directly. Really. And yeah, so if you hear a lot of animals, that's why. So now since I made this section here, you're going to need doors here. You're going to block any cause of anything that likes to get in your way. So then you're going to, in case rain, end up getting in. You know, sometimes rain do fill up things. So you want to make sure that is covered. Then over here, you're going to do the same. So I'm running a little, uh, running uh, out of, almost out of time. So I might have to do this three parts. So. So stick around if you need if you need to know a few tips here and there. I'll be still around doing more of Team Green here. So I will be doing Team Green approximately about I'll, uh, I'll say or try to do one more and try to finish it off on the last hurdle. If I can, that is. So, as of right now, I have it complete underneath, but now getting this section down to there. So then what I'm going to do for this next last hurrah of finishing it is making a different tactic of getting down instead of stairs. Or instead of ladders, I should say. So I'm currently will try to figure out a way to do that. But as of right now, I will currently end it right here. So yeah. Um, if you like this video, please leave a like and a comment and I will catch you guys in the next episode, special edition Minecraft. World of Teams, Part 3 of Team Green.
catch you guys then. And I, again, am Survival Man. Catch you guys soon, hopefully.